case you're wondering why there's a chair in today's video, let me give you a bit of a backstory real quick. I live in a relatively small neighborhood and I know pretty much everyone that goes outside the door, at least from sight, so there are a bunch of characters worth knowing, a couple stray cats and a few doggos, from a shy doggo to your standard chihuahua lady, that lady who walks 8 chihuahuas at a time, I know. Just like a few folks from my neighborhood, I'm into browsing the trash because you never know what you're gonna find. Other people's trash can be your treasure. I learned that since I discovered my local art supply store used to throw frames and mirrors, pieces of wood, pencil holders and even bigger furniture to store paper and things like that. And you know I'm kind of a hoarder myself and I like to take everything I think I'll put to good use but really end up not doing anything which is a shame. So this day I was doing my normal routine and I found this really cool bench or chair, whatever this is, in the trash. And it had a really cool style even though it was kind of falling to pieces and I knew I had to have it so I could paint something on it. And no one was gonna grab it since it's not your regular IKEA chair and let's face it I don't have the most exquisite and reasonable <laughs> appropriate taste but yeah you know that's a plus for me Yay! anyway so I got the chair and then I realized something was happening in an apartment nearby that for many many years was uninhabited Backstory, this, this apartment, I could see two windows from it and it was completely filled and covered with stuff, like up to the ceiling. There was a truck below the window and there were people throwing ton amounts of books, like each person at a time threw about 10 books and they filled three trucks with paper to recycle, an insane amount of paper. They were finally emptying the house for some reason. So I thought, wait a minute, that's the house that was filled with crap to the ceiling. What the hell just happened? You know how gossip works, you know, people know everything. And soon I knew someone died in there. That's right, a person that now we know was a hoarder died in that house. What happened was pretty surreal, a TLC level type of story, my big fat hoarder apartment killed me. He must have been a collector and a very intellectual dude, he liked his books, you know. But in the most unhealthy way possible, there was everything from books to postcards to maps, prints, an insane amount of paper, so he must have had his house overflowing with sh okay he had books piled on top of books and suddenly one day he must have tripped in some some way and a shelf or a, a gigantic pile of books that was unstable fell on top of him killing him like wasted right there let's take a moment to learn something from this guy and I guess that is, no matter how much you love something, don't let it kill you. So now I own this piece of history that belonged to this man who loved this book so much. In the midst of tons of crap, there's always a beautiful treasure to find. What a lovely story. Thanks for watching. Bye!